teman-teman juga kontak ya. Nah, tapi lebih parah lagi, saya mau izin saya harus ngomong bahasa Inggris ya. Karena sebenarnya saya bukan orang Indonesia dan pasti belajar bahasa Indonesia. Masa? Bagus banget bahasa Tapi kalau mau ngomong serius, tak salah. Ya. So, please bear with me. So, I, I, first of all, I'm really thankful uh, for this opportunity and uh, for inviting us um, to speak. Although, yes, we are sponsoring, but it's not easy for us to have this platform. As uh, Ibu Makna already said, um, we, we know that the situation now, you know, with the LGBT crackdowns and all of that, it is really hard for us um, to find this kind of safe space um, to talk about issues that affect um, Indonesian women um, and Indonesian transgender community um, that are that are affected um, by, by this issue. So I'd like to explain for those of you who are not familiar, UNAIDS is a joint United Nations program that is um, tackling uh, HIV and AIDS issues across the world. We have an office here in Indonesia. Um, I also have to uh, bore you with a little bit of detail of the statistics. Um, so around the world, Indonesia is one of the 20 countries that have the highest um, HIV burden. So in our country right now, Indonesia has around 650,000 people living with HIV across the country. Of that, um, about a third of the 650,000 people are women. And um, of, of that third, there's uh, between 15 uh, young women are part of this, uh, 43,000 people are between 15 to 24 year old. So the, the young women are particularly um, already having HIV and they are at risk. So um, this is something that we would like to highlight. And again, I'm uh, asking your attention also on behalf of women living with HIV um, and also on behalf of the transgender women um, living with HIV or are you know, at higher risk of um, contracting HIV because they are normally not having this opportunity to talk about their, their issues. So we know from the Indonesian network of um, HIV positive women who has done um, numerous surveys that um, there is a lot of violence against women living with HIV. So as we already heard, there continues to be violence against women um, in general, but women living with HIV get double, uh, double stigma, double uh, burden, and they are, um, they are victims of physical, emotional, and psychological abuse, and including um, from home, from their families, from their domestic partners. Um, we know that people living with HIV face stigma, and, and that women are disproportionately uh, affected by that. Um, we also would like to uh, raise the concern that um, because women uh, living with HIV, they, they are linked to the inequalities that they experience in society, and community norms are, um, are, are promoting this sort of um, discrimination and, and, and stigmatization towards, towards women. Um, in, in addition to, so for example, we also hear from the, the network of women in HIV, um, apart from you know, not being judged, they're being judged when they seek healthcare services, and if they are found to have HIV, they're considered by society as having done something wrong. They are, they are immoral women, or they, um, this is something sinful that they have done, so they are not supported by the health services. Sometimes uh, a woman who wants to um, be pregnant uh, and have children are outright encouraged to, to not get pregnant, or those who are already um, um, pregnant are, 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 are not, you know, are not supported. So there are some uh, patients who have shown up in the hospitals and, you know, have been, have been offered to have like more sterilization. Um, so this is something that we are monitoring, but unfortunately we are hearing more and more of these stories um, and it's not going away anytime soon. So again, um, we, we really um, appreciate this opportunity of this, this initiative um, and as um, Nia mentioned, it's through stories like this, it's through looking at films, it's, it's through creating this general awareness and being having the, the space to be able to talk about things. Um, and if we try to you know, look from the personal stories of people, um, we can discuss this and we know that they're real. 
that, that it's, it's existing in Indonesia, so we can't hide and say that you know it's a foreign topic that's not happening in our country. 